Yo, what's going on guys? Justin aka Divine back at it again with another Walking Dead video you guys have been seeming to enjoy this series. So without further ado, I thought I'd just bring another video for you guys. I just want to give a few quick little updates on everything that's been going on. I want to thank you guys as always. I got to thank you guys every single video because without you guys, I would not be here right now making videos, doing what I love doing, posting shorts, posting clips, everything that I do in my day's work. I, I just really appreciate you guys for stopping by and showing love. Even if it's very few right now, I know this is how we grow together. So thank you guys again for just doing that another big update that i want to give you guys i just got affiliated with drink poggers yo if you guys do not know about them they are just like a g fuel but even better and here's the best part i got my own code with them so yes if you guys go to their website you guys can click my link in the bio you guys can click my link in the banner you guys will see the little frog do y'all's thing yo get yourself some drink poggers this stuff is 10 out of 10 i'm gonna have to get myself some stuff soon so yes again if you guys don't know about them go check them out go show them some love click the link in the bio click the link up top in the banner and you guys will be taken directly to their website before you check out use code divine at checkout and you guys will get 10 percent off this helps me helping you guys so i just wanted to show some love you know to them and i wanted to show some love to you guys as well yo if you guys actually use my code at checkout make sure you tag me on twitter or whatever social media that you're going to be using to shout out us yo i will show the love back i'll give you guys a follow everything like that so again i just want to thank you guys for just allowing me to have this opportunity in my life to do things like this as you guys can see we're back on the walking dead and we're back on the farm so you guys know what we got to do in the last episode, man. It's just not it at the hotel anymore. In the last episode, you guys saw that, man, we're having a fight for power. And it's just not it anymore at the motel. So we got to do something different. We got to see if this place is it. I don't know about these people yet. I hope that they're going to be some good people that actually hold us down. If not, I guess we'll find out together. Hope you guys don't mind Chanel in the background. She's just playing with her toys. If you guys hear a little rustling, that's what's going on. So, yep. We're gonna check out this farm and see what's popping here. I guess we're really focused on stuff that's not really working. So I, I wanna do my best as a leader because I think I do have to step up and actually start looking at things um, for what they might be. And we'll go from there. Cause I don't wanna have this fight for power anymore. And I feel like, I feel like Lily and I feel like Kenny are having this fight for power that are just unnecessary. I, I get it some people are having to do a little bit more than others i get it larry's an asshole i get it that there's this there's that but in my true honest opinion i think we just gotta you know play our cards together and right now they're not so i feel like i'm gonna have to be the deciding ground here soon and we're gonna have to start making some harsh decisions and go from there but yeah like i said let's just hop right into this let's start talking to some people let's start checking some stuff out and we'll go from there also one last update yo if you guys do not follow me on my socials please go check out my twitter please go check out my twitch i try to live stream at least every single day i actually just started live streaming overwatch last night the game is fun i'm not gonna lie i've never played overwatch in my life i don't usually play mouse and keyboard so i feel like i'm definitely not the best but if you guys want to support me in any single type of way checking me out on twitch checking me out on all my other social medias is one way to get involved with me so please if you guys want to stay involved you guys want to really be involved again just go check out my twitch go check out my twitter that's where you'll really be involved with me you'll get to actually have one-on-ones with me more than just this youtube stuff which i love this youtube stuff but you know there's that wall there's that barrier of making the video so yeah just wanted to shout that out real quick because i really want to be more involved with you guys too bad it's broken i'll bet clementine and duck would have loved something like this to play on kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm, pointy. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. <laughs> I love that the other characters have like supersonic hearing. It's one of my favorite things. Like you'll be talking like way over here and they'll be at the swing or like in his case, like the generators running right in front of his face. And he's like, oh, I heard what you said. Don't worry. <laughs> this is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. All right. That's pretty simple. We have the saw right there. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Hmm. 
Nice, easy peasy, perfect size. And we just put it in our back pocket like nothing. That shit's right there in my ass. Y'all can't even see it. <laughs> but yo, also, we have an axe. So, Lee, where's the axe, bro? <laughs> Love it. Let's talk to Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick, you know? Like us? I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Okay, that was good information that we learned. We learned that they have guns. Obviously, we know about the fence. We know about... We just learned that we're not the first guests that they've had here, which I don't mind. I would have assumed, like, there's no way that the generators would have kept going. I mean, unless they have, like, unlimited supply of gas, but I don't think they know the exploit like that, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so... What do we do? What do we do? I kind of want to go inside. Yeah, let's fix this. We'll go inside. We'll go check the other side of the gate, and then we'll go from there. The board is good, but I need some more. Ah... Okay. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Yes, sir. Found rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. I just put it in my back pocket and we'll be off. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. I don't know, man. I'm from the South, so I feel like I got good intuition on other people from the South, but I just feel like something, bro. Like, there's always gotta be something, you know? Like, I try to do my best at not looking at, like, teasers and other things that are going on. So I don't know anything past the part that we just got to. Like, I didn't know we were even gonna come to the dairy other than the, like, to be continued part that it showed us the, you know, upcoming events. But I don't know. I just feel like there always has to be something, you know? Like, when something's going good, something then has to go bad, so... That's just the only thing I got on my mind right now. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was... Night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right, cool. Got a little house information, I guess. Not really much information, if I'm being honest, but it's cool. Uh, 
Mama St. John seems like she's pretty cool, so I'm digging that. So, check the fins, checked over there. We got rope. Okay, let's go fix this swing finally. We got rope and we got the board, so. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Now, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully, our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Bro, you see how, like, I'm telling you? How did she hear from inside the house? Like, I, I guess we're yelling across the yard, but still. Also, what kind of, like, hill is this? What is the agriculture over here? Like, <laughs> why is this, like, farmland flat and then it just goes up to a random hill? <laughs> I don't know. I'm no, like, agriculturalist, some geologist. I'm just, I'm just saying. Let's try to use this gate. Let's see where this goes. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. All right, then, bro. Let's go ahead and tend to the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Damn, this land is huge. Damn, I love that the fence goes way, way out here, too. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just, it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. He is a bitch, one. though. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Let's take this arrow. Disgusting. Just had to make sure it was dead real quick. Let's push it off, though. That was an IQ using Come the act. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. I like Mark. I feel like he is really loyal, so I feel like we could actually do this if we needed to overrun these people. Again, I, I don't know why, I just have some intuition that I feel like we might have to in the future. I, I just don't know what's going to happen. Also, we got my boy Kenny, so I just, that's why I'm kind of not tripping about like taking over power. I don't really want to like be power headed, but if we have to, I'd rather be level headed, but it is what it is, you know? Let's push the zombie off. I'm kind of scared this one's going to like do a little something. Fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Uh, I don't want to lose my axe right here. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. 
Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. No way. What the? Get to the gate. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa! They got Robin Hoods out here. No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. You fuck with Ah, uh, fuck. Now we'll take what we, want. we gotta push the tractor. Behind the tractor. Is it stuck? Shit. Oh Give no. Gotta move this. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Get close. Now push, 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 push. Come on. Why is it stuck? Why is it stuck? Did you really think what about you about it? Shift the gear. No oh my goodness. What's this way? Oh, it's it's hooked onto something. Lift it up, lift it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Skirt, skirt. Look at the movement. Skirt, skirt. Oh damn. Oh shoot! That shit almost hit me in the head. Oh damn! You Bro, what the fuck? Who are these people? Oh no, the zombie. It's gonna stop. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. How do we do it? Push him. Yeah, drag him, drag him, drag him. Nice. Dude, who are these people? I think that the band is from earlier. Must have been a, like a deal gone wrong. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Let's go, let's go. Come on. Did you really think you fuck with us? Oh no, 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 Oh shit! Oh no! Are you really? Are you kidding me? Yo, he's fast! Oh my god, this crawler is insanely fast, bro! Yes! Yeah, I mean they saved us, so that's cool. Let's get out of here! Bro, did he try to set us up? Lee, what's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mud. What? Oh How did they God. come to the woods and not he see got anything? Shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? Oh, yeah, let's They're get it. They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us.
I'm down. Yo, tell me why he looks like the dude from those tissue commercials. Like when they got the runny nose. <laughs> Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Damn. Now I feel kind of bad because I was kind of saying that they were going to be bad people. I don't know, though. It's kind, of, it's kind of sketch, you know what I mean? I don't know how the fuck that we got ambushed when we were setting up the fence. Why did the fence come on when he knew we were working on it? It's, there's just things that kind of don't add up. I'm not saying that they set us up. I don't know. Maybe those other people set us up. If I'm being honest, I feel like the bandits might have set us up because there's only one way they like would know. Somebody had to go eventually fix that part of the fence. They were posted up on that part of the fence and they knew that somebody eventually had to go out there and fix it so i don't know i'm i'm trying not to jump to any conclusions that's just my guess right now i'm gonna go ahead and call it though because i want to actually have a better episode i want to have a full episode when we go raid this bandit i just want to have a full episode when we go raid the bandits can because i feel like it's gonna be intense next episode so hopefully you guys just enjoyed fixing up the farm a little bit this is just kind of like a filler episode again hopefully you guys did enjoy it though hopefully even still at that i hope you guys did enjoy it again remember all my updates in the beginning we are now affiliated with drink poggers go check them out Link Links in the description below and the banners up top. Use code DIVIDE for 10% off at checkout. It's going to help me help you. And also go check out all my other social media. Stay connected with me. Go watch me on Twitch. I'll be streaming about pretty much every single day. I don't have a set time, so I'm sorry I cannot tell you. It's usually later on in the afternoon. I live in Texas, so it's central time. Usually around 7, 8 ish p.m unless i'm doing it randomly during the day but with that being said if you guys do follow me it'll give you guys an update and you guys will know it'll give you guys an update and you guys will be notified when i am online so again i appreciate you guys for stopping by today i appreciate you guys for just checking out what's up saying what's up showing all the love recently please keep showing it I, I feel like the dream is becoming a reality slowly and slowly each and with every single day you guys just help me out so i appreciate you guys hopefully i can keep banging out all this great content if you guys haven't checked out all the other episodes please make sure you go do that as well so yeah i feel like that's everything for this episode again thank you guys for stopping by and again i love you guys see you guys in the next thing i make deuces